Hey, I got the new Ace Beam Rider RX in front of me here. Pretty awesome fidget tool. Pretty unique, neat little flashlight that actually punches out quite the beam. Very pleasing emitter in it. This is the Night NYCHA 219F emitter it comes with. The 5000K, pretty much more of a neutral color. Yeah, I really like the beam on this little light. Uh, very handy. For one, it's supplied with the 14500 battery from Ace Beam, which is 920 milliamp hours. And it does have its own charging port to charge it. Or you can use a AA battery. But the quick cover, what it comes with, and then the specs, and we're going to take it out and shine it. But you come with your, oh, I thought it was a U.S micro USB but it's a USB-C fast charger comes with a cable USB-C to charge it rapidly some spare o-rings and a lanyard now as far as the specs on it throw the battery in it which is uh show you here with this feature for if you want to call it like a fidget feature it's encased in a stainless steel housing the actual light and I, I'm at work, I annoy the heck out of people. Basically, push it over and then down. And there you see the little emitter poking out the end. You unscrew the cap of the emitter. A lot of brass and everything there. Fairly heavy. It's locked and loaded. And that's the lowest mode. You click it off, next mode up, off, back on. I don't know if that's high. There's a high right there. Or what they call, yeah, high. This is 650 lumens coming out of this little light. You notice that well-defined focus beam. And it has good spill too. That'll run for two minutes at 650 lumens and it'll drop down. But we'll go back into... The ultra low, 53 hours, 7 lumens. And then low is 70 lumens for 3 hours. A lot of usable light there, believe it or not. And yeah, that'll run for 3 hours. Mid is 280 lumens for an hour of runtime. And then your 650 lumens for 2 minutes. If you were to throw an AA battery in there, you're going to get 200 lumens which is close to equivalent of right here. And that'll run for a minute and then drop down 150 lumens for 6 minutes, mid 130 minutes for 8 lumens, and then a ultra low sub 5 lumens for 24 hours, and then a half a lumen for 7 days. Uh, 96 meters of throw out of this, which we're going to go out and test. I'll show you how bright this thing is. They said it does tail stand, and why I be, they believe they do mean tail stand. You can turn it on and click it like that, and then you got your tail stand. Pretty awesome, well made light. And the clip on it, I really like that. That's uh, either way through the front or the back. Very solid built. Pretty awesome flashlight. And we're going to take this thing outside, do some shining with it, give you a real good idea how much light output it has, and then come back in and talk about it and call it quits. So let's try and get outside and try it out. All right, here comes this ace beam at a tree that's 62 meters out. On the highest mode. And... I think they, what, they rate this around 90 meters. It's hitting that tree at 62, no problem, on the highest mode. If we were to move the camera, that tree down there is 92 meters, and you can see that tree quite easily. This little light really rockets out, and the wind is terrible. 
32 degrees and a lot of wind. We'll go back to 62 on the highest mode. Now it steps down to the lowest mode. Second mode up. Plenty of light output there. Third mode up would be what, just call it high. Hitting a tree, bouncing off it good. And then the turbo mode. We'll have to compare this to car headlights to give you an idea. It's pretty neat though, isn't it? Okay, we're going to do some HID car headlights on high beam versus the ace beam. And this is the car headlights. That's the ace beam. Car headlights, ace beam. Car headlights, ace beam. Does a decent job. Give you an idea. Okay, right up there, 40 meters out, some tree line going up my hill, and this is this ace beam hitting that. And this thing throws an awful lot of light for such a little flashlight. Is that pretty neat or what? Got a cat right up in there somewhere. Let me focus. Pretty cool. And that's the highest mode, and that's the lowest mode. And there would be medium. A beautiful amount of light, even on that medium. And there's high mode. Like I said, again, that tree's 40 meters out, that tree line up there. And there's the turbo mode. Pretty cool. I keep my camera in manual mode, so when it's real bright, it washes out. So that gives you an idea the difference between the light output. Let's walk up into that tree line, and I'm going to shine this around. a lot of light. All right, there you are, the Ace Beam Rider RX. Pretty unique light. Yeah, if you want to check this light out, open that link up down below that I'll provide and check it out for yourself, but pretty awesome little EDC light. Fits quite well in a pocket, very rugged, bright, long battery knife, dual fuel, you got your 14500, which it comes with, and then you can run AA batteries, which for, say, out survival, camping, stuff like that, you can't go wrong. And it's quite bright with the AA batteries. So there you are, the Ace Beam Rider RX. Till next time.